Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, I was just utilizing my new welder ship to start welding some more of the engines. So I've now got more forward thrust, uh, which should help. Have we used all of our stuff? No, we have 2 and 70. Uh, yes, that's right, that's right, okay. So uh, this episode, uh, well, last episode, I said I'll have the welder. Uh, I mean the grinder ready. Um, not yet, because I have an idea, and it's going to involve the welder ship since we don't have a welder. Um, and because we have the welder ship, we can weld things with uh, a lot greater efficiency in terms of moving items around. Uh, and specifically what I'm talking about is building the grinder ship using the welder ship. Um, so what I've done is I've created a blueprint for the grinder ship uh, which I will then use to um, construct the grinder ship using a projector and the projector is this a projector block and what this allows you to do is it allows you to project blueprints uh, above the block and uh, then you can weld it this is, it's essentially what the projector is supposed to do um, very useful for automated mining and uh, automated construction and things but we have to create a special projector ship to be able to house it because the projector can only project uh, blocks that are the same grid size so with this one if I strap it to the ship it can construct the large ship but it can't construct the smaller ships such as uh, the grinder so uh, I'm going to need to produce a new ship um, that will utilize the projector block and I've already got a design in mind for what I'm going to do so give me a few minutes and I will be back okay so here we go we have the projector block uh, I've also got a reactor and it's attached to the ship it well it should be attached to the ship itself uh, give me a second um, because if I touch this right now uh, it will kind of fly off into space so I'm just gonna lock the landing gear so that if I try to shove it it won't budge Otherwise, we'd have problems with this flying off into space and, you know, having to grind it very quickly. Uh, right, so we've got this projector, and we've got light armor blocks, we've got a uh, reactor. I'm not putting a cockpit on here for reasons that this ship will be too big to suit its purpose. Um, so a projector online, we can now uh, go into the projector block and put in the blueprint. So if we access the projector block here, um, why are you not wanting to blueprint? Hmm. That's weird. Uh, oh yeah, because it's not got power. Okay, I, I need to steal some uranium. Uh, right, let's take ten. No, one should do. One. I think that should do. Right, let's throw uranium in there and everything should be powered. Your power output Mr. Reactor is uh, 500 kilowatts and that's basically just to maintain the projector being on. No. Oh okay, yeah you're outputting 100 because uh, the thing itself. Right, so let's get the salvager Mark 1 which I've designed earlier and you can see in its holographic form the ship Ooh, it looks exactly the same as the welder except when it has these things. Um, and now also, uh, what you want to notice is it's clipping inside a block so therefore it can't actually build. So we're going to need to adjust where this thing is. Uh, luckily I've already done this kind of thing before. So we need a 4 offset of minus 1 so that it's not attached to the landing gear. And then we're just going to put a light armor block on top. And this will allow some blocks to be built, and once those blocks are built, then other blocks will be built. Um, however, we're going to need the components, and to do that, well, luckily we've got a port here where we can access components. Uh, so we need to get our welder ship, and basically I'm going to fill it with as much stuff as possible. Uh, turn off the uh, parking, get out of the hangar flip around um, so you cannot collide with the hologram but once we start welding things 
together, then we will be doing things. Right, so if we we might be able to just park and weld some of the ship, so like the bottom bit. So if we uh, activate this, and we can use uh, our ship's inventory, the main ship's inventory, um, to start welding things together. Uh, oh, yeah, see this. This is what happens. Now it's just flying off into space. Uh, lovely. Okay, there we go. I've caught it with um, with uh, my welder, which is uh, kind of a feat of doing things. Now we just have to get it back and plant it, which is probably going to be the hardest part. Uh, right, so if we go onto the bottom side. Right, so we can see the landing gear here uh, in first person. Just going to make sure that, yeah. So we want to align. That should align, actually. Right. Come on. Oh, poop. Damn it. <sighs> right, off we go again. Okay, right, so let's access... Eesh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some thrusters and attach it to this ship. Because currently, um, we're not in a good position in terms of trying to weld this thing together again. So, uh, my idea was excellent, but my execution was not. Because um, we actually needed to add thrusters or something to make sure it doesn't go flying off. Uh, so... I'm going to weld this ship up, uh, alternatively we could grind it down and try again, but what's the point in that? So if I get it over here, keep my welder ship attached so that it doesn't fly off. Um, yeah, see, it's a bit damaged. So we need construction components and computers. Uh, no, 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 let's not do that, actually. So, if we go into the control panel here, uh, we can access the uh, project, uh, the landing gear. We want you to auto-lock, because I want this thing on the ground. Whereabouts is it? There. Ooh. That's going to be difficult. That's awkward, actually. Very awkward. Excellent, right, that worked. I 
think. Yes, okay. That worked. The ship is now very, very closely on the edge, so we should be able to do things my way now. Right, let's grab some more materials. Let's grab... Uh, so we need... What do we need? We need large steel tubes for... Uh, we need large steel tubes... Uh, we need some large steel tubes, we need construction components, we need computers, we need probably some more uh, steel plate. Let's grab some reactor components, um, thruster components, motors, metal grid, yeah let's grab all that. Let's undock from this thing let's go first person and from a distance we will weld why is it giving it momentum oh whoa what the and it goes cycling off into space again well we'll weld it like this since I do believe we have all the components necessary to get some thrusters on here which will help slow it down. Right, we're out of something. What are we out of? Oh, we need interior plate. Okay, let's get some interior plate then quickly. I've got the interior plate for the conveyor, so we can't actually get the back of it working. Just gonna watch it cycle its way into doom. Right, locked. Let's get. Uh, interior plate, let's undock, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, it's heading towards the asteroid, oh god, Velocity's matched, let's go in again. Why do you not want to work? What am I missing? I am missing something, but I don't know what. It's great, right? We need uh, landing gears in gear quickly. Landing gear. Right. We need to work quickly, otherwise, it's going to smash into the asteroid. Quickly. Ooh, that was close. Right, bring it back to the ship. <laughs> if this is going to be my day, then this is going to be my day. Right, let's go. I don't know what's wrong. I know what's happening. These things have an inertial... Oh god, they have inertial dampeners. Well, that's not helping. Right, let's see. 
You need interior plate. We've got interior plate. We've got it in here. Let me access the connector at the bottom. Give, give me the interior plate. I'll start welding. Right, now, if I get out, we should be able to start construction again. Right, there we go, we're working. Because now it's got inertial dampeners enabled, so uh, it won't go flying everywhere. Right, what are we out of? We are out of... Something that I don't know. What do you need? You need large steel tubes. I don't think we're out of large steel tubes. We've got, you know... Several. Right, I don't know why, but this thing is deciding not to work properly. So let's get some large steel tube and start welding this. Get the rest of the thrusters online. Maybe it will only weld them if it has enough components. Right, there we go. I think that's the thrusters. Right, uh, yeah, okay. We can probably... Can we pilot this? Can we now bring this thing home? Because I actually... Oh, we need displays, that's why. Okay. Well, we just need five displays and then we can actually get this thing running so that we can pilot it back to the ship. And I'm afraid we'll have to stop there. Uh, I'll, I'll finish up the grinder ship between this episode and the next. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time.